What's up, friends? It's me, Diddy Love. Drop down and hit like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for stopping by. Today, we're going to talk real quick about the black men who are getting passports to leave and go to other countries because they can't find any fit, friendly, feminine black women in America. <laughs> Bye. See you later. Ariba Durchi. Sayonara. Adios. Don't let the door not hit you with a good Lord split. Bye, motherfuckers. Bye. We don't care. The real question here is why are you guys just getting fucking passports? That's a whole nother subject in a discussion. Cause like, why are you just getting passports? And you think you're hurting our feelings by leaving? First of all, when you get over to those other countries, you're gonna have to realize that there are real men there who actually do real shit, who take care of their families. And these women are gonna have expectations of you and they're gonna not gonna make any excuses for your bullshit, okay? What you guys are actually looking for is a maid. A maid, a fill-in mama, a personal assistant. You're not really looking for mates. Y'all want submission and you're not given any reason to submit. You want it all in a handbasket and it's never gonna happen for you. So you can go to any continent. You can go to any city, any country, any fucking town, any zip code, any area code. It doesn't matter because you're gonna take you with you. So have a safe trip, okay? Don't look back. Don't look back because we don't want your asses either, okay? You think you're hurting us by saying these things. You're actually hurting yourselves. If women of the world have common sense and they see how you talk about and treat your own black woman, why would they want anything to do with you? Do tell. You guys don't have the best reputation out there. That's the problem. You're not really honest about who you are and what you're presenting, okay? You guys think you're on a pedestal because you put yourself there. You know what I mean? You all give yourselves the status of NBA players. Mm -hmm. You know, because NBA players and, you know, used to be rappers, but there are not too many shows going on. But like athletes and, you know, the Jamie Foxes of the world, all men think that they have that same status and they do not. That is why they think they all have these options that they don't have. Right. You mean to tell me in America there's not one woman that you could find to suit your standard? You got to go to another country and you have to say it out loud. The problem lies within you. It's not within the women here. Okay, because we are not all the stereotype. Are you all the stereotype? You know, you want to apply negative behavior to all black women. You want to apply um, positive things to every other race of woman except your own, not realizing that you're disrespecting your mommy, your sister, your cousin, your auntie. And then when people say that to you, dumbasses, you like try to blow it off like it doesn't really matter. But the reality is you belong to us at the end of the day, no matter where the fuck you go, you could go to Switzerland and live amongst all white people. You're still that Nick. So, you know, don't fool yourself. I don't understand why you think you would go to another place in another land and be superior there when you're not shit here. Do tell, make it make sense. So you don't think logically, a lot of y'all are crazy. All right, I got to get back. Y'all have a good day. Drop down and leave me some comments, especially you men. Like, are you one of those men who say you're leaving the country? You can do better. You don't need black women here because we're not fit, feminine, and friendly. Um, have you been watching the news? Have you been seeing what's going on and what's happening to black women? Y'all want us to be docile in an overly aggressive world. What the fuck is wrong with you all? You know, we're docile when and where we need to be, okay? And that's not all day, every day, and everywhere. You guys feel like you have the right to do and say what you want. Let me point this out, men. When you guys are riding around in a car, any woman you see walking, it could be a young girl, child, it doesn't matter. Y'all look at their ass. That's where you are mentally. That's why you ladies need to stop running out getting these BBLs, risking your lives, dying on tables, trying to impress some men who are into other men in the first place. They really don't like women if you pay attention. Women are out here living fabulous, traveling, enjoying lives. We already have passports, okay? We already have passports, hello. You all are getting passports to go look for more women. That's what you have spent your entire existence doing, black man. That's the problem with you motherfuckers. Instead of searching and finding yourselves, don't leave the country. Stay home and find you. Yeah, how about that? Stay home and find yourself. That would be beneficial to all, right? Because you're still going to be an outcast wherever you go. If you go there with that same mentality and behavior and disrespect that you show towards women here. What's going to be the difference? Like I said, the problem lies within you. A lot of you uh, refer to women as bitches all day in your conversations. Bitch this, this bitch that in an aggressive tone and manner. No woman wants to sit with you. Not a real woman. See, there are a lot of real women in the world. The reason why you only think they're skanks and scallywags is because real women are not giving you motherfuckers the time of day. 
Correct. A job does not solidify you as a real man. The actions and the words you speak do. Okay. Deuces.